Hello and welcome. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the end user experience in a typical guest environment. And a guest can be either a visitor, contractor, temp worker, student, or any other user you want to give temporary access. So what you are viewing here is a desktop of a visitor after the person has just connected to the switch. So this first window represents the IP configuration of the user's end device, which after connecting, the user obtains an IP address in the captive domain. This window represents the connectivity to the remediation server illustrated by a continuous ping to the server. And this window represents connectivity to the protected side of the network. So the user will begin by opening up a browser and the person will be automatically redirected to a captive portal where the user can proceed to provide his or her login credentials. After successful authentication, the user will shortly gain access to the remediation server. As seen here, and obtain an IP address in the subnet and VLAN that is attached to that user network profile. However, the user will not gain access to the production or protected side of the network until it has passed the audit. Once the user successfully passes audit, there will be a welcome page, and the user will now gain access to the protected side of the network as seen here. There may be a desire rule or message that appears, which is just a friendly message to remind you that a certain software program needs a patch update. So once the audit has passed, here's what it looks like when a dissolvable agent is installed on the user's machine. So the administrator has the ability to create prohibit rules, which are rules that allow the administrator to block access to certain applications, for example, such as Skype, or maybe not allow disabling of Windows automatic updates, or even physical rules such as not allowing a person to connect a USB key to the PC. But in this scenario, we're going to use Notepad as a simple illustration of this uh, behavior. So after launching Notepad, the user will immediately be detected as running a violation or a prohibit rule and will lose connectivity to the uh, production side of the network. And so this can be reflected on the OmniVista 2500, which is Alcatel Lucent's uh, network management system. Uh, so if we go to the security section, the Access Guardian, and view the particular switch where the user is located, and you will see that the person has failed the HIC uh, check. So once the person remediates the offending uh, application, then you will see that you will instantly regain access to the production, production side of the network. And going back to the OmniVista and do a refresh on that same user, you will see that they have successfully passed the audit. Keep in mind that this whole time while the user has been switched back and forth between the production profile and the restricted or quarantine profile behind the scenes, that the user never changes VLANs or IP addresses, which is something you won't find in competitor products. Traffic anomaly detection is a feature which is built into the Omni switch and can be easily set up by going into the same Access Guardian section or portion of the OmniVista. So here, all you have to do is just enable anomaly detection. Uh, if you want to trap generated, if you want to log generated, if you want to quarantine the person, which means it completely disconnects them from the port, you can do that. You can also adjust the sensitivity se settings here as well. So once that's complete, all you have to do is select the switch that you want to assign this to, and then select the port that you want to assign this to, and then simply apply those settings or changes to the switch. So when we go back to the user, we're going to emulate what a hacker would use uh, to um, attack a switch. Here is a popular program called NetMap, 
which is used to uh, scan the ports of the network. Soon the Omni switches traffic anomaly detection will sense the activity and it will be reflected here in the OmniVista network management system. And sure enough, the user is now quarantined, which is a complete disconnection from the port, which can be reflected here in a command line interface, just as an example, to show that the port is actually down because of that kind of violation. Keep in mind, of course, this can be reflected in OmniVista or WebView as well. So once you clear the violation, the user has now successfully regained access to the network. This concludes this demo. Thank you for your time.